What is up? Hindo's Hobbies back with another pack rip. And today we've got some 2020 Phoenix to rip. So we got a hobby box of 2020 Phoenix. This will be my second hobby box of Phoenix to rip on the channel. I uh, really like the look of these cards. Looking forward to hitting this. Uh, we lost to the card dojo in week 12 of the Fantasy Rip League. Um, the biggest mistake we made is we did not play the Atlanta defense. We had an autograph that would have, uh, I think it was Keith Brookings. We could have played that in our defensive spot, and they would have put us over the top pretty easily. They scored, I believe, 120 points or thereabouts when I last looked. That was my time six multiplier. So there's an autograph of Keith Brookings, so it would have given me a time six. It would have given me 120 points, and I would have been able to knock off the dojo. But nonetheless, we did not do that. So he got the win. His informa our information on this matchup is right here. Uh, that was a three-game losing streak for us. I believe we were at five and three at one point, and now we're at five and six. And as you can look on the standings on the right side, upper right side of the screen, we are tied for sixth with Derbs. And he's actually got the tiebreakers on points with us right now. So here's the scenarios for this week. This is the final week of the regular season. Week 14 will start the playoffs. Top six make it in. So this is this is it. This is uh, do or die right here. We, we've got to win this matchup. We need Derbs to lose. So we got to go all out. That's why we're ripping this hobby box. See if we can get something good out of here and uh, put us over the top. Uh, like I said, the points-wise, I don't think even if we had a big week and uh, both Derbers and us had the same result, I don't think we'd be overcome the the point differential we have with that he has on us. So we're down to one last uh, Hail Mary here. Let's see what happens. Uh, the eight ball was incorrect again. I believe he predicted we'd win again last week. And that did not happen, so I think it's lost three or four in a row itself. So it's on a losing streak as well. But let's do the eight ball just for uh, old time's sake. Magic eight ball. Will we beat? Oh, we're playing Hossa cards. Will we beat Hossa cards in week thirteen of Fancy Ripley? Outlook not so good. Well, that's not good. I wonder what he's ripping. I don't, I'm sure he's ripping. So here's another one. Magic eight ball. Will we make the Fantasy Ripple League playoffs at, in the sixth seed? Yes. So, nah, that's impossible. <laughs> it's contradicting itself. Because if we, if we, if we lose and uh, Derbs loses, we have the same record. Like I said, guys, he still has me by a tiebreaker. So, enough of all that. Been jabbering long enough here. A couple minutes in, so I need to start ripping some packs. That's why you're all here. Let's do this so open this box up we have some good numbered cards in here uh, to work with come on box got it slowly but surely so i think we and we have autographs we should have some options here to, to some multipliers, my hope is. Uh, probably the biggest thing over the last couple weeks, my losing streak, my multipliers just have not played out well. They've been uh, not very useful. So Khalil Mack, Devin Singletary. I think this is a silver, Max Crosby. Filler. Damian Williams, game over. I think I, re I got... That I think in my, one of my other uh, Phoenix boxes. So that's not very helpful because he's not playing. And Devin, I see, I see, and that's not helpful really either. So that first pack was not a good start for us at all. So my rookie's back over here. Um, we'll add, I probably could have flipped this box. Um, I made this box in quite a bit cheaper than what the price is going for now. Thought about doing that, but well, what's the fun of that? Might as well rip. All right, three kill. There's a good one. Jason Huntley. Uh, Fire Forge. Peyton Manning. I think that's the second one of that one I have. But I think this one's numbered than that last one wasn't. So 198 at 199. Cool card. Cool insert. Hot Routes. Amari Cooper. Put that in my insert pile. And then my uh, rookie is Jonathan Taylor. I do have some uh, mail day stuff I need to show off. I'm 
already opened it, but uh, you do it. Throw those on the video at one point here. Some cool PC stuff I picked up. Uh, Deshaun Watson, Mark Ingram, Jake Lutton, which really didn't work out in in uh, Jacksonville. And sadly, this was going to be numbered, I believe. Yep. 16 out of 199. So that would have been useful if it had been played, but he did not play very well. And it looks like he has seen the bench. Quintus Cyphus, and then I think this is probably an auto. Don't be Derek Brown. 17 out of 25. Yurtus Gross Matos. Eh, pretty good auto there. Um, the autograph itself. Got a little bit off the sticker there for a little bit, but uh, just a defense player, so that's not going to have a lot of value to it, which is a bummer. But I know he was playing for Carolina's D when I, I watched him play, I believe, the Vikings. So that might be an option, time six option on defense. I don't think I'd play him individually. So I'm guessing I think he plays D line, D end, so I don't think his stats are huge, like a linebacker. Aaron Jones, Max Crosby base, Kenneth Murray, rookie card, Flamethrower, Ben Roethlisberger, not numbered, and Lynn Bowden Jr. Something about that Lynn Bowden Jr. just bugs me. It's just, in fact, he got traded, never played it down with the Raiders. Uh, I just... All his rookie cards being in the Raiders uniform, just kind of, uh, it's hard to look at. So, Chris Carson, Baker Mayfield, Marquise, and we got our, we'll set that back there for a little bit here, Nate Stanley. So, let's hold us off till the very end. So, I don't know if that's probably a min card. If I see the next autograph, I'll probably try to save that one too. Just for a little cliffhanger. Tyrod Taylor. AJ Terrell, rookie. Gardner Minshew. It's numbered. It's not, oh, that wasn't very smart, but it's not a good thing here that my number card so far, it's kind of gone for the trend. There's a cool Jalen Hurts. He may have his time finally. Not numbered. Kind of getting a lot of the same guys I had in my other box. To be honest with you, I had Jalen, same thing on Jalen Hurts, Rookie Rising. Uh, no, it's kind of disappointing that uh, my hits and number cards are just not playing out very well. Javon Kinlaw. So it's been uh, it's kind of been the story of my fantasy rip league the last probably four or five weeks. Just have not been able to pick up anything that's... Uh, And gals, pack is not cooperating. Matt Ryan, Matthew Stafford, Anthony Gordon, two sixty eight, uh, two sixty two ninety nine filler. Trust Kelsey. Hot routes be numbered, not numbered, <laughs> but a good tight end. AJ Terrell. Is that my second one? Yeah, this box probably been better off being sold <laughs> right now the way it's looking. So, I don't know if one of those is a silver. Maybe one of the silver ones. I'm struggling with these packs tonight. Travis Kelsey again. David Johnson. Deion Jones. I got another hit there. That looks like a... Let's see what that is. CD Lamb. Rookie card. That's a good rookie card. Finally got a one of the better rookies or potential prospects there. Finally got a guy in his game uniform. Marquise Brown. Devontae Adams is having a good season. Mark Ingram colored. I'm assuming that'd be a. I'm just, I'm just, oh, there's numbered. Yep, numbered. Guessing I probably won't use that because he's been out. Yeah, flamethrowers. 
Joe Burrow. I can't remember. I think I have one of his flamethrowers also. Like I said, I think I'm really hitting a lot of the same, same deals here. Uh, Jalen Johnson. I need to get one of their, uh, like some of the base cards or number cards. Right, we'll find a pack that uh, worked. Darren Waller. Tom Brady. There's Aaron Jones. 86 out of 99. Probably will go with that one to get some numbered cards in there. Chris uh, Godwin. Not numbered. And then Michael Pittman Jr. I think he had a pretty big game. So he's starting to become more of a weapon in that offense. So Ooh, Nick Chubb. He's been playing big. I may just even though I don't have a multiplier, I may have to play him just because he's been playing big. So Grant Delpit out for the season. Flamethrowers, Daniel Jones, and then Darnell Mooney. So last pack right now. It's uh I think I would have been better off selling this box, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> Opening up some Donner's, op or Donner's uh, Mega Box or something for the Ripley. Ashon Jeffrey. JJ Watt. That's a silver, so it'll be a parallel. There we go. Flamethrower. Tua. Gosh. Oh, there it is. Yep. 34 out of 75. Cool. His first couple starts were not glowing, didn't really tear it up, but he is a rookie, so hopefully he will have a chance to improve. So my inserts are getting all those quarterbacks in the inserts, just not beyond that. Another fire forged. Paint man is on the base. It's the third one of those I have. And a James Morgan rookie card. So that's the rip on the main. Let's hit the let's go with the hits. All right, Marquise Brown, hopefully I didn't just show it. I wasn't looking at my camera. It is going to reveal Chenault, LaVisca Chenault Jr. He's cooled off a little bit. This is my RPA. And then the next one will be just probably the Mim card, which is kind of a bummer because I saw what it was. Chase Claypool. Eight out of 100. Darn, so close to his number 11. That Deion Jones is numbered as well, but yeah, just a regular uh, Pat Norman card. So, bummer that that one is not, these weren't reversed. That would have been a big card to use of my receiver. So, that's the rip. I will be right back with you with my starting lineup. We'll see, uh, see what we come up with. Talk to you soon. Thanks. All right, and we are back with our lineup. And uh, I think the eight ball may be correct. I think the eight ball might be back on track. That I don't think I don't know if we're going to win this week. Um, it's been kind of the story the last four or five weeks with these uh, with these pack rips. Just my auto, my multipliers just have not been playing out very well. My, I haven't been able to use a lot of my autographs. My mem cards have been hit and miss. So uh, this week's no different. We got a Lavisca. Chenault, uh, times six. You know, he's... It is a times six, so even if he doesn't have a huge game, it's, uh, it can add up a lot of points, but it's just too risky. You know, he could go with no catches. I, I don't I don't want to have zero points or even, a, you know, one catch, two catches. He just hasn't been catching the ball a lot lately, so I don't really trust that one. That what is one I can use because I believe Jacksonville is playing this week. Uh, I'd have to double-check. I actually didn't look too close, but but I'm going to stay away from it. Uh, and then Carolina, I would have used this for my defense, but they are on bye week. So I uh, just have not been able to gain traction on my multipliers, especially my autos. So here's the lineup. Now that I've moped enough, Deshaun Watson, quarterback. He was like top five, I believe. Uh, just a base, so just times one. Didn't really have any multipliers used there. We got do have a times... Two, or times three, I should say. A numbered. Let's see if I can get the my lightning's a little bit. I'm blocking my lightning a little bit, but I think it's 86 out of 99. Aaron Jones, so that's a times three. He's not one of the higher ranked guys, but we gotta take advantage of that multiplier there. 
Nick Chubb, hopefully he can keep the hot streak going. He's been playing really well. Um, didn't really have any other options as far as multipliers go, so I had to go with Nick Chubb. I like how he's playing. Scoring a lot of points. Uh, we're doing times four. We're going to take Chase Claypool. I think this was eight out of 100. Was so close to his jersey number, which would have been really nice. Would have been times seven. Uh, right receiver, we had Devontae Adams and Tyreek Hill are kind of the top two this week. We're going to go with the Chiefs. Tyreek Hill. Sticking with my Chiefs, top three, two of the top three receivers. Number two and number three in the NFL right now. We'll go with Travis Kelsey. Then we're going to go, we do a multiplier here. We're going to go with J.J. Watt. So it's not numbered, but it's a silver. So it's a parallel. So it'll be times two. And then last but not least, we got a Max Crosby. So we're going to go with the Raiders defense. I'm going to guess last week was just a mistake. They'll bounce back. And they play the Jets too. So, they, so that helps them bounce back. And it's numbered. So at least we got the Raiders, Las Vegas Raiders, at times three. So that's my lineup. I'm not overly confident. You know, I've got a couple multipliers in there, but uh, my big ones, my time sixes, just did not work out. Uh, the hobby box overall was kind of average. Probably would have been better off just, you know, hindsight's 2020 would have been better off just selling that one and, and uh, letting that one go on down the road. But it was still a good, fun rip. So this, if this is the last uh, week for uh, the Fantasy Rip League for me, then it's been a good ride. Uh, it's been fun. I've, I've liked to, to have this uh, consistent content each week, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And, uh, Take it all easy, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.